the warning ignored. The tragic consequence of a lost hat ride disasters. What if I told you that a 17-year-old boy lost his life simply because he tried to retrieve his lost hat? The case of Asia Lee Sean Ferguson will leave you thrilled, terrified, and awestruck. Roller coasters can quicken your heartbeat and send your adrenaline soaring to unimaginable heights. No other ride can make your heart race like a roller coaster. However, just like the two sides of a coin, roller coaster rides also have a darker side. Today on Ride Disasters, we'll delve into exactly that. Stay glued to the screen as we uncover the horrifying story behind a lost hat that resulted in the tragic beheading of a young boy. On Saturday, June 28, 2008, a group of friends went on a day trip to Six Flags Georgia Resort from a Bible study at Oki Springs Baptist Church. On that day, 17-year-old Asia LeSean Ferguson disregarded numerous warning signs and entered the park's restricted area, leading to a tragic outcome. What happened after Asia entered the restricted zone will forever be remembered as one of Six Flags' worst cases of death at the park. So what happened on that day? This is the infamous Batman roller coaster incident story. Let's take a closer look at this horror and dive deeper into the life of its victim. Asia was the oldest son of the Ferguson family. He was born on April 26, 1991 in Georgia and raised in South Carolina. According to his family, Asia was a gentle and considerate young man who had a bright future. He loved his family, loved Jesus, and was a member of his local church. He went to church every Sunday and was often involved in the church's activities and functions. Asia also excelled in school, graduating as a high school senior from W.J. Keenan High School in Springfield. At the time of his death, Asia was 17 and was planning on joining the National Guard after high school and attending college. On June 28, 2008, Asia and 70 or so members of Asia's church and family attended Church Day Outing at Six Flags, Georgia. It was a big outing and was meant to be a memorable one, but little did anyone know that this adventure was going to take a toll on their beloved member. Six Flags Over Georgia is an amusement park that opened on June 16, 1967. The first day of the park had over 3,000 visitors, and the first summer had over 1,200,000 visitors. The park covers 290 acres and has over 40 rides, including 11 roller coasters. The park prides itself on having a collection of roller coaster rides, including the world-famous Mine Bender Rides, The Goliath, and of course, Batman the Ride, which is based on Batman from the DC Universe. The Batman roller coaster was created by the general manager at Six Flags Chicago in the early 1990s. The roller coaster cost $7 million to build and was ready for public use two years later on May 2, 1997. Many Six Flags resorts have copied the Batman roller coaster after its huge success. This Batman ride was the one that took young Asia's life beheading him in front of the many visitors of Six Flags, Georgia. Are you shocked to imagine this terrifying scene? So is everyone else, and to date this tragedy is marked as the cruelest of all accidents that ever took place at this park. If you are as curious about what happened on the day of this gruesome tragedy, then keep glued to the set. But before moving further, subscribe to Ride Disaster and get updated on all the content revolving around adventure and tragedy. The ride's track is roughly 2,700 feet long and has a top speed of 50 miles per hour. There were five inversions, including a zero-g roll, two corkscrews, and two vertical loops. On the day of the incident, Asia and his companion scaled two six-foot fences that separated the park's safety zone from the dangerous area beneath the Batman roller coaster, which had been one of the park's most popular rides since its opening. 
At approximately 2 p.m., Asia was struck by a rider's foot on the roller coaster, which was in full motion and traveling at a speed of 50 miles per hour. The speed of the coaster was such that when the rider's foot made contact with Asia, he was instantly beheaded. The incident was an eye-wrenching sight. The image of a 17-year-old boy being decapitated in broad sunlight is not a subject to be fooled around with, and it leaves a trail of trauma and sorrow within the family and onlookers. Witnesses to the incident shared their experiences of watching the gruesome incident take place. One of the women standing near the waiting line witnessed two teenagers run past the queue and leap over the fence, one being Asia and the other being Zaya, Asia's friend. Asia's friend ducked beneath the ride and the ride simply lifted him and hurled him over the fence, leaving Zaya unharmed. Zaya was laying on the ground, hit by the massive rise. However, unlike Asia, Zaya was lucky. Within minutes, paramedics arrived at the scene and treated him to get better, but Isaiah was not responsive. Thus, it was concluded that Asia lost his life. Even the thought of such a frenzy is an impossible sight to imagine. But why did these two teenagers go to an area that was so clearly restricted? Many individuals had various narratives surrounding the incident. The initial one was that he wished to touch the roller coaster as it passed. However, this is highly improbable, as the family strongly denied this claim. The second, more probable explanation is that he sought to retrieve a hat he lost while on the ride. His friend and several other people accompanying them reported hearing him discussing plans to obtain the hat before his death. The police later released a statement asserting this to be false. However, many people still believe that Asia was simply wanting to retrieve his hat, and this impulse of determination led to the young boy losing his life. The ride was shut down and an inquiry into the incident was initiated. Shortly after the initiation of the inquiry, an autopsy was conducted, and the cause of death was determined to be accidental. Officers inspected the ride and determined it to be secure. When Asia's parents were questioned about why he had climbed the fence, they stated that police investigators had attempted to explain to them their beliefs about what had transpired, but none of them were able to do so. Asia's parents said they were uncertain about the circumstances that were present on that unfortunate afternoon. All they knew was that no one was to be blamed. If you believe this is the first time the Batman ride has resulted in a fatality, you would be mistaken. The investigation revealed that a similar incident occurred six years prior to Asia's accident. In this case, a 58-year-old employee of the company found himself in a restricted area underneath one of the Batman roller coasters. The reasons for his presence there remain unknown. As the roller coaster passed by, a rider's dangling leg struck the employee, resulting in his instant death. The girl whose leg was also dangling down suffered leg injuries and was taken to the hospital, but miraculously recovered. No further action was taken regarding this incident. In the aftermath of the tragedy, Six Flags has implemented enhanced safety measures. The number of warning signs in hazardous areas has been tripled and additional fences with barbed wire have been installed. While some individuals argue that it was too easy for the teenager to access the restricted area, it is crucial to acknowledge that the park and the ride are not at fault. As a result, the Batman roller coaster continues to operate. However, it is essential to recognize that the warning signs were disregarded, resulting in the tragic outcome of the incident. The loss of Isaiah is a profound tragedy, and his family continues to mourn his passing. A memorial service was held the following Saturday at his grandparents' church in Oakey Springs, where his family gathered to celebrate his life. The incident serves as a somber reminder for everyone to take safety warnings seriously and to avoid restricted areas for our own well-being. Asia's tragedy shocked everyone and underscored the importance of not dismissing safety signs as mere formalities. What do you think about this tragic end of Asia's life? What are your views on his impulsive decisions? 
feel free to express your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the thrill and terror of this roller coaster accident, then like this video and share it with your friends. Share awareness and make them realize as well that safety signs are meant to be followed. Don't forget to like Ride Disasters and hit the notification bell icon to stay updated on similar content.